Hello, thank you for joining us. Today is the Feast of Passover and Holy Thursday. Today's reflection on what's known as Maundy Thursday or the day of the Last Supper. Christians celebrate the night that Jesus presided over the Last Supper. This, of course, was the first communion or mass among believers. It's amongst the disciples and a time when Jesus traditionally demonstrate their piety. Many people wear black on this day and of course priests will wash and apply oil to the feet of some of their parishioners. In England the British Queen will distribute it Maundy money to the poor. This tradition which dates back to medieval times and the special coins given to the poor are far more valuable than their official price as they are unique. In other countries this day is called Sheer Thursday as it's the day in which churches are given a thorough cleansing before Easter. Also in some cultures men with beards shave them off as an act of cleansing, preparation and rebirth that is symbolised by Easter. The name Maundy comes from the Latin word or commandment reflecting Jesus' words. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. This was the evening that Jesus gathered with his 12 apostles to celebrate the Passover meal, known to the Jews as a Seder. It's also a day that Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. We read about it in John chapter 13. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus, knowing that his hour had come to pass from this world, the Father, having loved those who were in his world, loved them to the end. They were at the supper and the devil had already put into the minds of Judas Iscariot to betray him. Jesus knew that the Father had put everything into his hands and that he had come from God and was returning to God. He got up from the table, removed his outer garments and taking a towel, wrapped it around his waist. He then poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel he was wearing. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, at the moment you do not know what I am doing but later you will understand. Never, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus replied, if I do not wash you, you cannot have a share with me. And Simon Peter said, well then, Lord, not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. This was the last meal Jesus had with his disciples and it's commemorated in the ritual of blessing, breaking and sharing bread and wine during Mass, in which these items represent the body and blood of Jesus. And Jesus commanded to do so in memory of him. They gathered together in the upper room of a house. Jesus wanted to be away from the crowds so that he could share in the last meal he was to have with his closest and most trusted allies. However, as we know, within a few hours of the meal, Judas betrayed him and this led to his arrest in the Garden of Gethsemane, where he had gone to pray and where Peter betrayed him too. This is a sombre festival, not because it precedes the crucifixion, 
and Christ's death and then subsequent resurrection. But it's also a time of betrayal as Jesus was betrayed. However, the Last Supper demonstrates that even in periods of the greatest hardship, if you maintain faith, you will eventually pass through the pain and you will come through the darkest moments. Therefore, we should note that this darkest of nights will come to an end and that even in periods of the greatest darkness, the communion service gives us the faith in God's forgiveness and hope for a better future. It also reminds us of the importance of fellowship and the importance of loving one another. Our prayer for today is Psalm 18, 36. You gave me a wide place for my steps under me and my feet shall not slip. Thank you and see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.